Hi beautiful, how are you? I hope you're having a beautiful day or a beautiful week, a beautiful year. And today I wanted to share with you a significance and importance that I feel in having an altar in your house, in your room, wherever you live or spend most of your time. The importance and the beauty and even significance of having an altar in your space. And um, yeah, some time ago, um, I had an altar, uh, but I, I didn't really appreciate the, the significance or importance of it, and uh, I wasn't really uh, treating it with the due respect. And uh, I had uh, a couple of crystals there, I had uh, some beautiful images there, I had a candle there, but uh, you know, every time I would hold a session or I would. Uh, the group I would take crystals from there and I would take them with me so it was kind of uh, not really fully functional altar it was just there and uh, I wasn't fully feeling the whole beautiful power that it can present and 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 uh, the, the support it can give us so uh, through my travels and uh, now staying in, in Mount Shasta California for the past three months uh, and um, having uh, a spare room in the house where I'm staying and with my current uh, flatmate who is a traveler as well uh, we've decided to create an old time uh, this is something she does frequently and this is something I've been feeling like I've been wanting to uh, make some space and time for creating an altar and uh, once this beautiful altar emerged I realized how much um, power and support it can offer in anything we do. And I began to see the real meaning of, of having the altar and what it can offer us. And so I wanted to share this with you because I found it incredibly helpful on my journey. And I'm convinced that this will also serve you and help you on your path, on your journey, in whatever you do. So let me share you uh, what I've learned about having an altar in your space. So um, first of all, I realized that having an altar, it's like having a constant blessing, constant blessing for everything you do. It's a space that you can come to in the morning and um, you can connect in your heart. You can ask for help from your guides, from universe, from whoever you connect with for the things you have to do on that day or that week or your big projects or your desires, your ideas or anything you would like some help with or support with uh, can be anchored in this physical altar. An altar would normally have uh, beautiful symbols, uh, beautiful pictures or crystals and the beauty of it, you can create your own altar, you can be your own designer of how you want your altar to be. So for example, here in this space, we didn't, as because we're traveling, we didn't have many things handy. So we just probably had like a couple of crystals or a candle and, and a couple of pictures. But the beauty of it was that we allowed the altar to emerge. So we placed the candles that we had, we placed uh, the couple of pictures of saints or, you know, uh, I had a picture of an angel uh, that I resonate with, that I put there. And then uh, we had a couple of crystals with us as well. And then as we went along, as we were traveling to places, we would pick up, let's say, pine cone, or we would pick up uh, a beautiful stone from the bed of a river or uh, any objects that would have a meaning to us. So maybe it was a flower or it was um, a branch of a beautiful um, new tree. Yeah, so, so each of this uh, was a representation of something significant to us. So whether it's a new life or whether it's beauty, whether it's grace, pine cone, what I have with me here now is a representation of uh, the opening of a third eye. It's often used in uh, Eastern cultures uh, to represent the opening of the third eye and so as you go along you realize that you can create your very own beautiful altar you can place pictures of uh, let's say saints or beings or 
in anything you feel uh, drawn to or anyone you feel drawn to. It can be of a Catholic culture, it can be of an Indian culture, it can be uh, uh, non-religious at all. It can be a saint or it can be just a being. Uh, for example, uh, on one of my recent uh, beautiful gatherings that I attended here in Mount Shasta, I was given a, a picture of Mother Mary and that was my first ever gathering uh, related to Mother Mary. So I'm going to add her to my altar because it was a very beautiful experience and it held a, a lot of significance for me. And so you can also place any crystals you feel drawn to. Like here I've got amethyst, it's also on our altar at the moment. And uh, you can put uh, little statues of Buddha if it means something to you, if it's a symbol of joy or if it's a symbol of something that you would like more in your life. And I also have um, a chime. And this chime is just something that um, I ring in the morning just to bless the day and also in the evening as a gratitude for the day. And um, so our altar, out of almost nothing, blossomed into a beautiful altar that has these images and uh, also symbols of what we need help with or what we'd like to help with or what we'd like to have more in our lives. And also uh, what we started doing, we started um, writing prayers, which is uh, either asking for help to the universe or you know, to perhaps you, you may be connecting to special saints or angels or again beings of light or your guides and you can always write a prayer like for example here is a small prayer so you can put it under the picture or image of a saint or whatever image you have there or you can just uh, roll it roll it and again place it somewhere next to a picture uh, to you know, take your prayer up there for it to be manifested. You can also write an affirmation that you already have something or you already are somebody who you would like to see yourself. For example, I am a confident and, um, you know, powerful being, which of course you are, but you might not feel this way at this moment. So you might want to write this affirmation and put it there on the altar for it to be taken up there and manifested for you. And if you need help with anything, you can also do, uh, you can put uh, the crystal on top, on top of your prayer. And then the crystal will be anchoring this energy and will be holding space for this beautiful wish of yours, desire of yours to manifest and become a reality. So, so the altar is actually a very uh, magical, divine uh, opportunity for us to first connect with high realms and, and receive and keep receiving and holding this beautiful supportive energy from, from up there or from within and also to anchor it in a physical space, to anchor it through the symbols that mean something to you, to anchor it through the presence of this beautiful beings of light that are represented on the images or pictures and uh, any other objects that have a significance to you. Uh, so, yes, I found for me it was an incredible revelation of how much comfort, how much connection and how much assistance in anything you are doing, just simply having an altar, this, this beautiful um, creation of yours that holds the energy and holds the space brings down and anchors very powerful creative energies for whatever you do to help you along with it in every single day. And I found when I had difficult days and if I came down to the altar and I wrote a note um, saying please help me or show me the way or send me guidance and I would put it under a crystal or I would put it uh, under an image and very soon, uh, often at the very same day, I would receive a uh, rather clear and beautiful guidance or shift within me that will help me to get through the challenge or get through the difficulty that I was experiencing. So 
I will definitely, uh, after my travels, when I'm back, I'm definitely going to set up a permanent beautiful altar where I would be lighting candles, lighting incense, and I will definitely treasure it this time and I will honor it this time more than I did it before because I was lucky to experience the true power of having an altar. And so this message for you is um, just to help you as well along the way, sharing this experience, this revelation. I hope that you will be inspired to create your own altar, to allow your creativity to show you how it wants to, to look, what sort of objects or symbols you would like to have there, what colors you want to choose. And again, it can take a very small place or it can be a whole shelf or it can be a whole um, top of uh, a chest of drawers, for example, or anywhere you have space in the house. And uh, just allowing it to hold this beautiful, creative, divine energy for you and your ideas and your desires for yourself and perhaps your loved ones and the world. And so I wish you all the very best. And may the, the angels of bliss <laughs> and uh, the very gentle and beautiful spirit of Mother Mary that I had the pleasure of meeting yesterday, uh, connecting with yesterday, be with you and may you be blessed. And I hope to hear from you about altars you have chosen to create at your homes and or your places. And thank you very much. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.